What's going on, guys? We have the first war of a new season, season 19. New map, new adventures. Let's get going. For my team today, I'm going to be bringing my R3 Doctor Doom. I will be bringing Quake. And I'm also going to bring a Human Torch, if I can find him. <laughs> there we go. And, uh, yep, yeah, that's the team. We're going to go in. We're going to start out on Path 3 in Section 1 and move over to Path 8 in Section 2. So we're going to move up here uh, to Path 3. And go to this Arcus. All right. First node here has Heavy Handed and Mystic Wand. So armor ups are going to help him, and nullifies are going to have a 95% chance of failing. So, you know, cosmic, you know, maybe, maybe a good idea here. But uh, Doom's going to come in here. I had the advantage coming in watching B Manny uh, fight the exact same fight he posted in chat. Uh, showed a um, couple of issues with the fight. Uh, basically, all I'm going to do here is try to do uh, bait out his L1s and throw L3s. Uh, you cannot uh, do the uh, Doom cycle, uh, so to speak, in this fight because you can't steal enough of his power. Uh, Bimani actually had the same fight, like I said, and he did not steal enough power and he had an L3 and could have died from it. So that's uh, what I'm going to be trying to avoid. I didn't punish here because I wanted to bait out the L1, uh, and then I'm going to bait out another L1, get that power down, and go back to work. I did finally push him over two bars of power, so I'm just going to block the L2. Just tank it. I mean, Doom's <laughs> just ridiculous block proficiency there. Um, I got dealt nothing. Uh, so first fight over with. I got through uh, one fight, and I lived. All right, next fight. Uh, <laughs> everyone was waiting for me, and I was on the golf course uh, playing in a, uh, a tournament, and, uh, you know, the whole group was waiting for me. I was probably about an hour away from being done and uh, got up and the group in front of us was being really slow. So I was like, you know what, I might I might have enough time to get this done. I really I really didn't want to do it on the golf course, but uh, I didn't want everybody to wait for me either. So this is a, a parry only type of a fight. Man Thing has a power snack, so basically uh, every seven seconds... He's going to nullify a buff and uh, gain power. So with Quake, uh, you don't want that to happen. And obviously Dex is going to uh, create a buff, going to nullify, uh, probably poison you, and die a horrible, tragic death. So this is parry only. Uh, that's my type of style. Um, I love parry method. Uh, Quake style, it's what I started learning from the beginning i it's my preference especially in war um so i'm very comfortable in this type of environment uh it's kind of a longer fight so i'll let you uh, take a look it does have uh, backup recovery as well uh which you saw and uh just gonna work on getting getting him down You notice it's a pretty quiet gameplay. You can imagine, like I said, I'm sitting in a golf cart uh, waiting for the group in front of me doing this fight. And uh, I get the uh, fight done and look in the chat and Taters is like, yeah, actually, Dap, I'm going to have someone else take this fight uh, because, uh, you know, I think I think it's safer. I'm like, well, it's already done. So, you know, <laughs> have fun. So that was that. And uh, got home to do the rest of my fights later on. Uh, but I wanted to get that done for everybody else. Alright, we're going to move on to Section 2. We're going to be on Path 8. First fight is a Phoenix. And in this fight, it has Redouble Determination. It has 
uh, buff and balance weakness, and heal block. So I took suicides off. It's going to be a bunch of doom fights in a row here. So I took suicides off, put on uh, Mystic Dispersion, and uh, decided to have some fun with doom. So I didn't launch the special 2 immediately after the special 1 because I knew she was going to be getting her second life and I just wanted to wait that out before throwing my uh, special 2 and finishing the fight. Uh, but I ended up getting to a third bar of power. Uh, so you guys get to watch the uh, animations for one more L3 before she dies. That was simple enough. Now we're going to move up to Hyperion. And this fight, what do we have here? Same thing, buff and balance weakness. We got rich get richer and heal block. Uh, basically, when they get buffs, it's going to help them, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? I'm just going to doom his face off. So here we go. And that's all she wrote for Hyperion. Uh, overall, pretty good fight. And we'll move on to this shared fight, which is a Heimdall. All right, this node here has connect transference and power from afar. So when you're away from him, he's going to gain power. Uh, he's also a flow champion. So um, any critical hits is going to give him power. Uh, so lots of power going on, you know, in this fight. So here we go. I'm going to punish the L1, and uh, yeah, uh, that was a mistake. I won't be trying that one again. Uh, using L1s to keep his buffs off him and going from there. All right, so his power is getting out of control. He's up to three bars of power. I'm in trouble. I need to get to a special three. Got to my special three. Lucked out there. Jeez, that was close. Uh, so now the plan is the special three, back it up with a special one, drain his power, finish him off. That is the plan. Let's see if we can do it. Love that special three. All right, medium, medium, light, 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 medium, medium, special two. What? Oh, my God. Better kill him. Better kill him. Ah, okay. We got him. Ugh, that was a little, uh, little on the rough side, but we got it done. I was looking forward uh, in my return to 4 Loki to, you know, a nice easy first war. Not very many fights, you know, that sort of thing. Get the uh, mini boss assignment, and I've got three mini bosses. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, not quite easing my way back in. All right, first up, we have Sabretooth. Um, he gets a ton of cool stuff if he has a regen, which is very easy to give him regen. I probably wouldn't want to do this fight with anybody else except for Quake. Uh, you can, obviously, deck style this fight, but I'm trying to play it very safe. I'm just going to parry. 
Um, and, uh, you know, for me, that's the safest way to go. And just take uh, parry damage, which is going to be very minor in this fight. Uh, he can't do a whole lot of damage to me uh, if I'm hitting my parries. And uh, just going to get him down the good old-fashioned way. I'll let you guys take a look. I may have been able to finish him off right here with a heavy, uh, but I'm going to wait one more cycle just to be safe. I don't want to give this guy a regen. Uh, he'll go unblockable and, uh, you know, gain extra life and all that stuff. But all I got to do is wait out one more cycle and call it good. Uh, so Quake gets it done. Pretty good. So we're going to move on to Clairvoyant. This fight's pretty interesting. It is Stunning Reflection and Polka Dot Power. Uh, so basically, you can't stun her with her uh, stun immunity up. If you do, you're going to get stunned and get your butt whooped. Uh, you can inflict her with an incinerate or poison to bring down the uh, immunity for 7 seconds. Uh, so we figure let's bring in uh, Human Torch here and uh, try to uh, control the fight that way because she is a flow champ. So, take some block damage, get the uh, heat up, and throw it on the Nova Flame. But the Nova Flame is not removing the stunning reflection. Uh, so, I cannot stun her uh, to remove any of her uh, power gain buffs. Take the L2, and now in the corner, um, I have no way of removing her flow uh, power gain. Uh, I am in the corner. No way to... They're going to block this L2. Uh, try to get something going here. But again, I cannot do anything. I'm in the corner. Uh, I'm dead. Uh, that did not go according to plan. Um, so I needed backup and uh, had my first death of the season. Kind of unfortunate. Uh, would have played that a little differently the next time. Probably with an invulnerability boost. And just give her L3s and, uh, you know stay away from the wall that sort of thing so i'm gonna go in with the last fight and it's going to be medusa uh shouldn't be a difficult fight at all a uh, little shaken up over the death um so hopefully i don't you know compound that and uh you know do even worse in this fight there i try to throw heavy uh without her being uh inflicted with shock so it didn't stun her um a brute force is draining my life right now all right there we go Got the brute force off. I need to buckle down. I need to focus because I can't afford to die on this fight. It's it's a simple fight, uh, so there's no reason to uh, to uh, be taking this kind of damage. All right, L1 coming back with Doom. I'm gonna try to build her up to uh, two bars of power. Take that heavy, jeez. Um, I cannot afford to do this. This is this is ridiculous. Got the two bars of power. Gonna start some uh, some real doom action here uh, and get away from this crap of the plan. Um, this L3 gave me a chance to refresh my mind, to refocus, and go back to work. <laughs> doom just won that fight. I didn't. Um, if it wasn't for Doom, I don't know. Whew. Not a strong finish to the war, but uh, hey, um, it's first war. We uh, did win the war, so that's all only thing that matters. Uh, we had a pretty good war, got some good points out of it. Uh, thanks, Omni, for playing against us, and everyone have a great day.